Hi guys, welcome back to Jay's Kitchen. So today I'm going to be making dalcha. I'm going to be making chicken dalcha today. And today I'm going to be following the Hyderabadi style. So we're going to be making Hyderabadi chicken dalcha. Very simple yet tasty uh, Hyderabadi style of making uh, chicken dalcha. So the step by step process is a little bit complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the first step first. We're going to be marinating the chicken for about an hour. So let's see what the ingredients we need for the marination. So these are the ingredients we need for the marination of the chicken. Of course, I have here one chicken here. And then we're going to be using two tablespoons of chili powder. We're going to be using two teaspoons of turmeric powder. Two teaspoons of cumin powder. One, uh, two teaspoons of garam masala. And we're going to be using um, two tablespoons of coriander powder and uh, salt to season. So roughly about uh, two teaspoons of salt. So let's um, start marinating the chicken first. So I've got my um, chicken here and we're going to add in uh, chili powder. So we're going to add in two tablespoons. If you're using half of the uh, chicken, you can always just use one, it's fine. Okay. So two tablespoons. And then we're going to be using um, two teaspoons of uh, turmeric powder. Okay. And then cumin powder, two teaspoon. You don't want it to be too much, just uh, two. If you feel that the spice is too much, you can always add in one teaspoon. It's totally fine too. But of course, adding in for the correct amount, for the, especially for the chicken, it's much more better. So garam masala, I'm going to be adding about two teaspoon. So I like the spices to be a lot, so that's why I'm adding in double since my chicken is a little bit big. And then I have my coriander powder, which I'm going to be adding two tablespoons. Okay, two tablespoons. And then that's one, and that's another one. And then of course our final ingredient would be the salt, which I'm going to be adding in about two teaspoons. And we're going to allow the chicken, we're going to mix it up right now nicely and we're going to allow the chicken to marinate for about an hour. So let's mix this up. So I've actually um, marinated everything. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to marinate this for about one hour. We're going to close this and we're going to keep it aside and we're going to concentrate on the next step which is making the dal. So for the next step, we're going to be using about half cup of lentils. We're going to make dal with half cup here. And we're going to need water. So I'm going to be using water three times uh, the same spoon that I'm measuring the uh, lentils. One teaspoon of canola oil or any oil that you're using. And then uh, about half teaspoon of salt and also half teaspoon of turmeric powder. So I'm going to be cooking my dal in my pressure cooker. So I'm going to prep the ingredients in my pressure cooker. So I have my pressure cooker here, so I'm going to be using my lentils. I'm going to measure half a cup. So it's going to be half a cup of this lentils. Okay, half a cup. You can even use just chana dal, but since I use um, uh, this masur dal and also uh, tur dal, so I'm going to be using this too. So half a cup, I'm going to drop it here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash and rinse this dal and measure the water into this. So let's uh, wash this. So I've actually washed uh, the dal here as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the ingredients. So let's make sure that we have the dal all drained out from the water that we've rinsed. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to be using three spoons of water from the same measurement cup. So it's going to be one, two, and three. So once we've poured that, we're going to add in some canola oil. 
So it's going to be about one teaspoon. Okay, that's it. And then about half a teaspoon of salt. A little bit of salt. And then about half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Okay, half a teaspoon turmeric. So let's give it a nice mix. So you want to make sure that everything gets all mixed up. And then it's ready to go on top of the stove to be cooked till it's really mashed up. So I have all my uh, ingredients ready to cook the dal. So I'm going to close this pressure cooker. So once we close it, yes baby. Can you give me one second please? Can you please give me one second? So we're going to close this um, like this. Make sure that it's tight and doesn't come out. And I'm going to put it on the stove here. And I'm going to cook it on low heat. Till uh, it becomes mashed up and all. So it's all depending on uh, what type of uh, pressure cooker that you're using. So let's wait till it gets mashed up. So while my dal is cooking and my chicken is marinating, so we're going to prep the ingredients for us to make uh, the chicken dal cha. So of course I have here oil. So I'm going to be using a couple cloves of a uh, couple uh, pieces of cloves, uh, one cinnamon, uh, about two to three cardamom seeds, and one teaspoon of cumin seed. I've got uh, two tomatoes. If you have a large one, you can just use one. Since I've got two small ones, I'm using two. Uh, one medium-sized onion about one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste i'm going to use roughly a little bit of tamarind about four tablespoon of tamarind juice and then of course i have here my mint leaves and also my cilantro leaves so let me prep these ingredients and then we can start cooking so uh, i've already prepped the ingredients as you can see here i have my cumin one teaspoon a couple cloves a couple cardamoms a uh, few cloves one cinnamon one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste a bit of oil and then i've got roughly about four tablespoon of uh, tamarind uh, juice which i'm going to be using and then of course my dal is done it's half cup of dal and then i've cut two tomatoes cubed it and sliced one medium onion and of course i have my cilantro and mint for garnishing so we're going to add in a little bit while we're mixing the uh, curry and also for garnishing on top and of course my chicken is already marinated for one hour and we are going to start cooking right now so i have my pan that's heating up here so i'm going to add in some oil so let's add in some oil here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add in our spices so i'm going to be adding in the cumin first Okay, and then all the other spices also go in. And we'll give it a little mix. And then we're going to add in our onion. Okay, add in the onion. So we want to um, saute the onion so it turns translucent and soft. Okay, so let's give it about a minute or two until it turns translucent and soft. So after uh, the onion turns translucent, we're going to add in our ginger garlic paste, one spoon. Okay. Give it a nice mix. Get it well combined with the other spices. And now we're going to add in our chicken right now. So let's add in our chicken. And we're going to mix the chicken till it mixes together with the um, onions and all the spices so make sure you give it a nice mix 
You want it to be well incorporated with all the uh, other spices. So after continue stirring for about two to three minutes. So here we want to add in the tomatoes. So let's add in all the tomatoes. And we're going to mix this. And then we're going to um, mix it on and off until the tomatoes become soft and mushy. So let's mix this. And you want to make sure that the tomatoes become really soft. Okay. So after the tomatoes uh, become soft and mushy, so as you can see, it become a little bit uh, wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in our dal. So let's add in our dal. Okay. So we have our dal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the dal with the chicken. Get it to really mix properly. Okay. And then we're going to add in our uh, tamarind pulp. Four tablespoon of tamarind pulp. Let's give it a nice mix and mix everything together. leave it for about one minute before we add in the water so after mixing it for about two minutes on and off we need to mix it so it doesn't burn so let's see. Okay. we're going to add in one cup of water mix get all the sides okay so now we are going to cover this and we're going to let it cook for about 15 minutes okay so we'll cook this for 15 minutes and be back so after about 15 minutes we are going to open this and we're going to give it a nice mix so yummy so make sure you check for salt just to be sure there's enough of salt so so I don't need to because my salt is just nice so let's add in a little bit of our cilantro, like half of this and half of the uh, mint okay half of the cilantro and mix it together okay and then we're done so the balance of the cilantro and mint we can actually garnish it on top so we can switch it off and our dalcha is done. So this is my super yet tasty um, and tasty uh, Hyderabadi uh, chicken dalcha. So very simple way of making it. And yes, you can see I've garnished the remainder mint and cilantro on top. So it'll be so tasty to have it. And uh, please do try it and drop me a comment and let me know how it turns out. Definitely you'll love it. Thank you so much for watching my video on how I made Hyderabadi um, chicken dalcha. So I hope you liked it and if you like my video on how I made this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Please share it on social media and among your friends. And if you're new to my YouTube channel Hummingbird Mama, please check out my cooking videos and all my other videos. And don't forget to click subscribe and support me in subscribing to my YouTube channel Hummingbird Mama. Don't forget to, key, to press the notification bell so you'll always receive an email notification whenever a new email is uploaded 
a new video is uploaded on my YouTube channel. So for those of you who's already subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you so much and please continue to support me um, on my videos. So thank you and have a good day. Bye.